Today we're going to be taking a quick look at what I found to be the most fascinating aspect of the fight between Jamal Charlo and Sergei Derevyanchenko. In order to do so, let's first look at the matchup. Jamal Charlo, as the longer boxer, needed to establish the jab to keep the, the fight at his distance. And Sergei Derevyanchenko is an aggressive boxer with good counterpunching skills. He likes to come in at an angle to land combinations, constantly step around you, constantly stay on you, and keep up the pressure. So in order to neutralize him with the jab, you need to do more than just simply keep a jab on him. The most important tool to keep an aggressive boxer off of you is the jab. However, unless it's utilized in various ways and set up, a skilled boxer like Derevyanchenko is just going to time you and counter your jab to get in on you. Jamal Charlo, as a boxer who doesn't probe with his jab the way we see guys like Floyd Mayweather and Vladimir Klitschko do, needs to set up other ways to use his jab. And in this fight, we saw him use timing and rhythm to set up his jab and neutralize Derevyanchenko very skillfully. So here we're going to see Charlo set up his jab by building a rhythm for Derevyanchenko to get a feel for, then break the rhythm with a jab to catch him off guard. This is also known as punching on the half beat. As you can see here, Charlo is on the ropes, and what he's going to do is he's going to build the rhythm while circling off the ropes. So let's take a look. As we see, Charlo takes a step with his lead foot to begin circling out. Notice he also shifts his weight to his lead foot as he steps. This is the beginning of him setting a rhythm. Then he takes a step with his rear foot and shifts his weight back with it. You can tell because his head is no longer over his lead foot. And then he takes another step with his lead foot, shifting his weight with it again. And then he takes another step with his rear foot, shifting his weight back. But notice how Charlo has been stepping at an established rhythm and set the pattern of leaning with each step like a pendulum. This allows Derevyanchenko to think Charlo will continue the pattern and next step with his lead foot while shifting his weight forward. However, we see Charlo breaks the rhythm and the pattern by jabbing on the half beat, landing clean. The important thing he did to break the rhythm here was to jab in between his rhythm of stepping instead of stepping then punching. Because if he stepped forward then punched, then Derevyanchenko probably would have been ready for it. So if we watch it again, we see step, 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 wait jab breaks the rhythm and if we look at his head we see forward back forward back f jab instead instead of leaning his head forward then jabbing as his leaning his head forward he suddenly jabs to catch the revianchenko off guard and this is the important trick to striking on the half beat and like I said, you can't just jab a guy like Derevyanchenko without first setting it up. As you see here, he beautifully counters Danny Jacobs' jab and then cuts an angle afterwards. Another trick to set up the jab is to time your opponent coming in. However, this could be a lot easier said than done, especially if your opponent is very good at setting up their offense. So an easier way to do this is to actually set up a trap to bait your opponent coming in. So let's see Charlo set up a trap to bait Derevyanchenko into stepping into punching range. So we see Charlo take a step back with his rear foot and his lead foot, and Derevyanchenko responds by stepping forward to cut the distance. Derevyanchenko takes the real estate given up by Charlo to add pressure, and this continues to push Charlo back. But let's see what Charlo does next. Look here how Charlo steps his rear foot back again. So Charlo takes another step back with his rear foot, but not with his lead foot. This means Charlo is the same distance as he was before the step. He is no further away because his lead foot is in the same spot. This is also the bait to try to get Derevyanchenko to step forward again so he could punch him. And then we see Derevyanchenko take a small step forward and then takes the bait and takes a step forward right into Charlo's punching range and gets jabbed. So the reason this trick works is because the distance between two fighters is the distance between each other's lead foot. Charlo stepped back with his rear foot to make it look like he was going backwards, but he was really the same distance away from Derevyanchenko. This tricks Derevyanchenko into walking right into the trap. 
какая-то давление не, не получается, да. Но... Okay, so let's go over what we just saw. So we see Derevyonchenko is too good to just jab without a setup. Here we see him slip the jab to the inside, which puts him at an advantageous angle to land big on Charlo. However, we're gonna see Charlo make a positional adjustment because Derevyonchenko has an advantageous angle on him. Once again, take a look at Charlo's back foot. So Charlo swings his rear foot around to fix the angle so that he's no longer in a disadvantageous position. Notice how he also uses this motion to simultaneously counter with a check hook because the lead hook, the motion for that is the same as shifting your weight to your back foot. And this is an incredible display of mixing defensive responsibility with offense. As you see, he gets out of danger and actually lands a punch at the same time. And that's going to be it for this one. It wasn't a full breakdown of the fight. I just wanted to highlight the smart use of the jab from Jamal Charlo. I was thoroughly surprised how effective he was with it and how he was able to neutralize Derevyanchenko for most of the fight to win the decision. So as always, if you like this content and want to see more, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I'll see you guys all next time.